Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number two in the directory traversal module titled File Path Traversal, Traversal Sequences Blocked with Absolute Path, IPASS. All right, let's get started. This lab contains a file path traversal vulnerability in the display of product images. The application blocks traversal sequences but treats the supplied file name as being relative to a default working directory. To solve the lab, retrieve the contents of the etc passwd file. Okay, so our target goal over here is to exploit the path traversal vulnerability, which has some kind of defense on it, and then retrieve the contents of the passwd file. All right, let's get started. And notice over here, this is the built-in browser in Burp, and so all my requests are already going in my Burp proxy. Okay, while the application is loading, you could see over here that it's retrieving images from a certain directory in the uh, backend server that is hosting the application. And so this for sure needs to be tested for LFI, RFI, and path traversal vulnerabilities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to repeater and look at the request. So if we hit send right over here, you could see that this is a 200 OK message, and this is the content of the 45.jpg image. So what we're going to do is we're going to try what we did in the first lab, which is dot dot slash dot dot slash, so that we could get out of the directory that we're in and move to the root directory, and then attempt to access that uh, etc passwd file and hit send. Okay, that didn't work. We get a 400 bad request and it says no such file on the system. All right, the next thing that we're going to try is see if the application maybe filters on uh, this sequence right over here, but the developers forgot that we could just request the absolute path of the file that we want. So hit send. And here we go. We get the contents of the passwd file. And if we reload this right over here, You should be able to see the congratulations use of the lab exercise, which we do. All right, so we were able to manually exploit this vulnerability by just putting in the absolute path of the file that we wanted to retrieve. Now let's script the exploit in Python. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.